Hey everyone, this is Jay, and today I'll be showing you how to boot camp Windows 7 on the MacBook Pro. And this MacBook Pro is the 2010 13 inch version. I'll be installing Windows 7 on a second partition on the same hard drive that is on my MacBook Pro. This is a 750 gig, 5400 RPM Western Digital hard drive so I have plenty of space for it the first thing you want to do is go to applications scroll down utilities and over here bootcamp assistant click that click continue and on the screen you have to choose the size of your windows partition since I have a lot of space here I'll be giving it about 250 gigs Click Partition. And just let it do its thing. Alright, once it's done, you can click Start Installation. And I'm going to be installing Windows 7 64-bit. And your system will automatically reboot. and the Windows installation will automatically begin. Select your language and your time, click next, install now. Accept the software license terms, go to custom advanced and you want to select disk zero partition bootcamp. Go to drive options format and format it. Click OK. Then you can proceed to installing Windows. Alright, once it's done installing, it'll ask you for a username and a password. Over here, click ask me later you don't want to install anything yet because we have to install a hotfix first set your time click next and connect to your router or you can skip it Alright, you're finally in Windows 7. The next thing you want to do is connect to the internet because we're going to be downloading a hotfix. Alright, so you want to go to support.microsoft.com slash kb slash 979491. You should be seeing these numbers on your screen. I can't provide you a download link because you have to request the hotfix from Microsoft and they'll email you the link for the download as well as the password to open the file which changes after you download that you want to install it you can choose to unzip it anywhere and I'll unzip it in a custom folder see password is required so I typed in the password and the files were unzipped close this and install the hotfix
the main reason for this hotfix is that Apple, well more importantly the MacBook Pro has a known glitch where after you install Windows 7 I'm gonna restart this after you install Windows 7 it freezes on the second boot up so this will fix it the next thing you want to do is do not update using Windows Update yet you want to use your MacBook Pro install DVD and pop that in there and it will install the drivers that you'll need. You'll notice that if you press the eject button on your Mac keyboard it won't pop out the DVD of your Windows installation disk so what you can do is go to computer right click the DVD and and go to eject. Once you insert your Mac OS X DVD you want to go to open folders to view files go to boot camp and go to setup you'll see this window click next accept the license agreement over here make sure it's checked Apple software update for Windows. Click install. The reason for this is Windows update might suggest some drivers for your Mac that's not compatible for it. So you want to install the drivers using the DVD that Apple supplied. Once that's done, click finish and the system will restart alright once it restarts again you'll see this pop up you can just close that down here type update don't click Windows update you want to click Apple software update and also you'll notice that the resolution changed to the max resolution of the screen right here it says new software is available from Apple there's a bootcamp update as well as QuickTime, Safari and iTunes and QuickTime installations I'm not gonna choose those I'm just gonna update the bootcamp install one item let it download it'll ask to restart just say yes now that everything's installed we can use the function buttons up here just like in OS X the eject key works but if you prefer to press this and have it use F1, F2, F3 instead of the secondary functions you'll want to click down here Click bootcamp, bootcamp control panel, and keyboard. Use all F1, F2, etc. keys as standard function keys. Apply. Startup disk. You also want to use your Macintosh hard drive. Apply. And click OK. You can then proceed to installing the Windows updates or some helpful softwares like Flash, Microsoft.NET 4.0, Visual Basic, pretty much everything you'll need. You can also install your games and your favorite softwares. When you're booting the system, press and hold the Option key. And it'll let you select either the Macintosh or Windows partition and you can then proceed to selecting which 
operating system you'd like to load. That's it for this video. That's all there is to it. We have Windows 7 installed on this Mac. And thanks for watching. Visit mycortex.com for more videos.